What's up everybody? In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make your own record thumbnails. This video is mainly for the people trying to get into YouTube, creating their channel, and they're having some troubles with making something like a thumbnail. That's really all I gotta say. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so usually I like to get my green screen photos in Green Screen Wall by Ding Boy VR. This room right here, just called Green Screen Wall. There's also a blue screen wall with right through this door. I don't need to use it though, because I don't have any green in my outfit. Um, there's a green screen right here, but the green room I think is better because it just covers up your entire body. So the thumbnail I'm going to be making is the thumbnail for this video. So let's head into the green screen room, pull out our camera, make sure the camera is on tripod mode and change the setting to about three seconds. Okay, so we have our camera and don't worry about it being slanted. We can just fix that in the photo editing software. So I want to be facing this way, pointing kind of upwards diagonally, kind of like this. So I'm going to start the three second timer. So there's the first take. So I'm going to put it as private on my rec net. Oh, my bad. So I'm going to put it as private on my rec net. And then I'm going to do a few more photos. Just to make sure that I have the best one I can. Okay, so now that we have the green screen photos for our thumbnail, we're going to need a background for it. So let's go to some sort of decorative room or whatever to get some sort of background for the thumbnail. Okay, so now that we found a room, let's go over to the best looking spot in the room. And then we'll just take a photo. Try to line it up how you want it. Boom. Private. And there we go. We have a background photo. So we've done basically everything we need to do in game. So now it's time to head over to the computer. So now that we're over on the computer, let's head over to RecNet to actually grab our photos. So here we can see all the photos we took and the background photos. So let's quickly open up Photo P, which is the photo editing software I use. It is free and very easy to use. Hit new project, um, 19, uh, that one that I selected. So now that we're here, let's grab our green screen photo. We can just copy it and then paste it into here. Let's right click that, convert to smart object. Cause if we don't do that, then it's gonna make the picture all blurry once we make it small or big. And boom, we have that, we can rasterize it. And there, we have our background photo. So now if we want our background photo to be blurry, we can just head over here to this teardrop, right click it and then click on blur tool. Change the strength up to hundred, click on the size thing, whatever the fuck next to it. Change the size, a thousand, and then whatever kind of blur you want, or however hard you want the blur to be. So I want it to be very hard. So we're just gonna go ham. We're gonna go crazy, make it very blurry. Okay, so now that we have our blurry background, let's head over back to RecNet and grab our green screen photo. Again, we can just copy it, put it in here. Let's convert to smart object, scale down. Make sure to make it fit the whole screen. Otherwise, this next part is not going to work. So now you have to rasterize it. And then over here, this little erase tool, right click on it and then click on magic eraser. What that's going to do is now you can click on the green and that's going to get rid of all the green. So now we can scale our character up. So change it back to a smart object down here, scale it up really big and boom, we have our character. But you may notice he's really blurry. So how do we fix that? Well, right at the top, we can see an X and a check mark. Just click the check mark. He still might be a bit blurry, but it's close enough. The thumbnails are small, they won't notice it too much. So now to make the actual thumbnail pop out, let's head over to our characters layer, right click and then click on blending options, select stroke. And then I usually like to have my stroke size at 13. This is pretty good. It will usually default to like zero. I like to have mine at 15. And then over here, you can see fill color type. I always put out white. I think that's just the best to make it look to, I think that's just the best to make it pop out. 